Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and this is the latest update from Ukraine. As usual we have some bad news and good news from the front lines. Let's go to the bad news first. Let's zoom in to Liman city that was under attack by the Russian army for almost one week and this night they finally got the city together with a big huge railway station under their control. And if we go and scroll the time back so it was yesterday evening the station was under control by ukrainian troops and today it's like that so they took suburbans they took the station and they took the part of the road that goes to Slavyansk over here. However, we still have some information that our army continue to fight with Russians near to the Mount Suburbans. Why are we doing so? Because the easiest way would be just to change the position close to Radio Gorodok and put the forces there and use the natural obstacles like this river and blow up two of the bridges here and mine the dump over here. Uh, but why are we fighting, continue to fight here near to Liman? Because if we let La Russians closer, more closer to Slavians, they may use their artillery systems to fire directly to the city and we still have civilians there. So our army protecting civilians and fighting near to Liman. However, it's very difficult because there are no only places here, especially where the fields are. There is no place to hide. And let me show you on a Google map. So this is Liman city and you can actually hide from this place because there are some forests and woods. But here is just open space, the sand, nothing special, where no place where you can hide. So probably we're gonna keep uh, this place under control because there are lots of forests and we can, you know, fight Russians using our artillery systems back to fire to their positions in a city. From Liman city, let's go to Severodonetsk that our army defends uh, successfully but this night russia had their attack towards the city and they successfully took this part you can see it's the hotel mirror uh, so this is the city edge and they came from that side towards uh, the mirror hotel and they took it under their control together with some part of the park so they came from the woods and still the fighting is ongoing there i don't know where it goes today maybe we're gonna fight back them from this hotel or not but they already took the part the small part but still it is the part of the Severodonetsk so that's the place that they control but I think they don't want to go in the city so far they just want to destroy it first like it happened to Mariupol to be more safe for them it's gonna be more safer to go to destroy the city uh, then our troops cannot climb to the, some kind of buildings because they will be demolished, devastated and you cannot use them any longer for uh, defense and if the city is intact of course you can go and put your points to attack the invaders but here they just do the same thing as in Mariupol they are destroying the city and also bad news coming from this part they uh, destroyed this bridge Russia destroyed this bridge actually it was the big scandal today one of our Ukrainian journalists said confirmed he went there and he filmed that this bridge was destroyed and some of our guys from the government say oh why he's filming this stuff because he's giving the information to the enemy but it is what it is we need to know something you know about what is happening because now i don't know how our uh, guys will go from severodonetsk now they probably need to go here to use this bridge to go to the least chance how they can go out let's say evocate to change the position out from the Syrodonet city because all this bridge was blown up recently and this bridge was blown up today uh, so it's very hard now to go to cross this river from the Syrodonet to Lysychansk and to get to put your own bridge it's impossible my friends because you need to have the engineering equipment for that and you cannot deliver the equipment because this road is very close to Russian side. They may use artillery for supplies to eliminate, let's say, your engineering equipment. And here in Papasna, yeah, we're going to talk about it as well. Uh, this uh, road is also not reliable to deliver this uh, specific equipment. So the only 
th the only way I see how can you go away from the Severodonetsk towards Lysychansk and try to evacuate first just swim away or but it's not possible because you have tanks BTRs etc uh, the other ways to use this bridge over here but if Russia put their forces to Borivske now it's gonna be very hard to go there so far we are controlling this crossroad Russia is very close so probably it's the only way to create so there are two ways I think for Severodonetsk we need to put more forces or start to think how can we get out from this place because um, from what I see uh, Russia puts lots of their forces they put half of their army here here and here half of their army my friends 50% of what they have by the way here my friends we have some of the good news Ukraine army did the counter-attack from this road and I'm just gonna show you the timeline so before it was like that and with the help of our, our counter-attack we have pushed Russia back towards Papasta from this direction this direction and I like it it's uh, very good and this critical way the road of life I would say is still under Ukrainian control from the information we have uh, from our army so yeah it's kind of bad here the situation is very bad but as I showed you before here are the open fields Russia need to throw themselves to Bakhmut for their attack or they will be devastated in those fields my friends they need to take the cover somewhere they need to go back to Papasna they need to go to Bakhmut and fight or our artillery will just destroy them here we are in lack of art artillery systems we still wait for the first land lease that is coming from United States the big one we need hundreds of those artillery systems MLRS as well multi-rocket artillery systems also we need that stuff now Russia has advantage and we don't know then the war is over because yes they simply have uh, advantage over Ukrainian army in those systems we have a good spirit we are willing to fight but we don't have the modern weapons to counteract to Russian attacks my friends so as for now everything is like that for the rest of the front lines it stands still so Russia moved most of the troops from the south towards here and here uh, they try also to move near to Izum but unsuccessfully we have strong defense lines over here so now the strategy of Ukraine is to wait until the weapons coming and now we need to defend uh, we have some small counterattacks, as you can see from here and there but now we need to wait in defense and fight back yes we are losing uh, the ground because it's not possible uh, not to lose the ground because they have advantage but we are causing a severe casualties uh, towards uh, Russia they are losing their army soldiers uh, tanks and other kind of weapons artilleries as well so it cannot uh, go forever this war should be stopped and it's gonna be stopped with the help of Western made uh, weapons I hope those will be will be delivered very very soon and in July you will see the massive counterattacks of Ukrainian army it is my expert opinion and prediction I'm not the military guy my friends but I know something and I want to share it with you like internal perspective uh, the guy from Ukraine sharing the information with you I do not share the classified information even though I know something but I share just an open resource I'll keep you updated and by the way press the like subscribe to my channel and if you can you may also join me on patreon or support this channel through the PayPal part of the money I send for donation purposes and part of the money I keep because I lost my job as an airline pilot my friends you are awesome and I wish you a peaceful sky wherever you are and have a great time.